Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. He's looking at me through the crack. Must not be anybody in. I'm trying to get somebody to come to the uh, counter. This is from the National Police Chief Council. Right. You're okay. probably aware of it. Well, it's not for you. Why am I here today? This. This is uh, the National Police Chiefs Council. They've released a memo, and it's to do with auditors, social media bloggers, initial guidance. And it's all about, have they received the memo? Now, it was issued 2020. So they should have been issued it by now. Automatic door. It's a good reference. <sighs> right. Looks like they're shut. So, how do I get in touch with. somebody about this document? Please do not lean on this counter. Looking for a bell. Any bells? Any whistles? What's that? Look at that. That's what it says in the police station. If you are exempt from wearing a face mask, please show an exemption certificate. Otherwise, you will be asked to leave. Thank you. It's a bit strange. Excuse me? Hello? There's no bell, is there? Excuse me? Hello? Excuse me? Hello? Excuse me? Hello? I just need to speak to somebody at the um, thing. It's about this document. It's an internal memo. I mean, I would have used a telephone, but it's been stolen. Hello, I just need to speak about your internal memo I've got a copy of. He's looking at me through the crack. Wow, no matter where you go, everybody's got to wait these days. I need to speak to somebody about this internal police memo I've got. Okay. Um, uh, nobody's come to the thing yet, but it's an internal police memo I've got a copy of. If you ring the bell out there... Somebody, so, some, somebody did say they're coming, but there's nobody here. Right. This is from the National Police Chiefs Council, and I've got a copy of their memo. Oh yeah, that, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. Somebody should be along if they said they were coming. Yeah, yeah, strange. Alright, All right, thanks for that. So maybe I should ring the bell, like I said. Yeah, maybe that's the way. Ring the bell. Is that the bell? No, nope, that's not the bell. Bell? There's no bell. Is that the bell? There's no bell. Just a gentle tap. Must not be anybody in. But the door's open.
Hello. I've, I've got a document from the National Chief of Police. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get somebody to come to the uh, counter. This is from the National Police Chief Council. Right. You're okay. probably aware of it. Well, it's not for you to keep. Oh, right. Okay. No, well, I'll, I'll print it off. Right. Uh, what you're doing is you're disturbing other members of the public. Just, have, you got, right. have you got anything particularly you would like? Yeah, should I have a copy of this? I just wonder because th this well, is. Well, you've, you've got a copy of it. But it? should it be leaked to the public? Because I'm concerned of what it says. Right. If you look at number one point three, you yeah. just have a quick look. If we point on the internet, I'm, I'm busy. I don't want to get into great debate with you. All right. Is there anything you specifically after from us now? Um, well, I, I guess you're not going to help me about this. You just have a look at one point three. Is there anything you do specifically after from us now? Just to look at this. Okay, I'll, I'll look at I'll look at that document at my leisure. I'll get off the internet. It's quite it's open source. It's not a problem. If there's anything else you'd like for me now. When you said it's open source, does that mean anybody can have a copy? Mm. I didn't know that, and I wanted to clarify that, because it seems like an important document, and I'm concerned with what it is at 1.3, mm. because that is content. That's my concern. Okay, well, so it's, there, it's there publicly available, it's free, free to access. Have a read at your leisure, okay. and we'll leave it to you. Thank you very much. Can I just take your name for reference? Yes, thank you. Are you Chief Inspector? I am indeed. And can I just take your name for reference? Yes, it's Paul Ferguson. Thank you. Paul Ferguson, thank yeah. you very much, Paul. Cheers, take care. Cheers, bye-bye. So, Chief Inspector Paul Ferguson, three pips. Who is that Chief, Chief, Chief Inspector? It was nice, it was pleasant. But it, obviously he's busy, he'll take a look at that. Uh, but just for reference, I'm going to read that out now. So what this says is, 1.3 on page 3 of the National Police Chief's memo, the auditors use security concerns surrounding the filming of staff and premises alongside limited powers to prevent it. They appear to provoke staff and site security into potential embarrassing reactions, often asserting that staff are overstepping legal boundaries. They are also well versed in their own rights and often cite legislation in their interactions with staff. Any perception they are under police surveillance is likely to be challenged robustly and potentially publicly. So while I'm here, I might as well just uh, have a quick tour around the side, just for reference. This is Barnsley Police Station. It's never a good sign when a black van goes into a police station. I hope everybody's okay in there. But, uh, yeah. So this is what it's like inside. Oh, they've got their own petrol station. That's interesting. Oh look, they've got their own petrol station. So if you're wondering why the police car is staying there, it's not because of me. They're waiting for the gates to shut. And as soon as they shut, the police car will drive on. They have to make sure it's secure and that nobody comes into their premises. And there you go. National Police Chief's document, there you go. That's contempt. There you go, if you've got sound, that's contempt. Now that's just my opinion. Maybe there's something I don't understand about it. It's, uh, yeah. If you've got sound here, that, that is contempt of page three, 1.3, because not all people are like that. And that concerns me that police officers have got that view that's advice from the National Police Chiefs Council.